I am back again to my channel. Today I would like to discuss about how to prepare and send registered mail service through international using post office service. This is a request by Leia Ratnawati. Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. I'm sorry for that. Uh, please Please bear with me because this service is long process and more information to discuss. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more information and let's begin. Always remember international mailing is expensive compared to domestic mailing. As usual, addressing always address it from you because you're a sender your complete name delivery address line city state and zip code and then where it's going to the name of the recipients receiver delivery address line city state and zip code and i always suggest my customer uh, you have to write your country name big and bold and then marking marking use ink pen or permanent marker no pencil allowed because the pencil is easy to get erased friendly reminders before entering to the post office box or envelope should have handwritten address on it on the top anywhere on the box you can write it anywhere because the box has to complete address already it should have ready to process for mailing so it makes the line short because uh that's how the post office um policy and rules hazardous materials at this service hazardous materials will be us hazardous materials are extremely prohibited for non-mailable items for domestic and of course international as well it's very extremely uh, prohibited what is that for it's like you cannot send anything liquid alcohol or some kind of like a perfume that potentially um, can explode or can create fire so not even mercury as well so keep on mind registered mail label it is the number 200 the label number is 200 it looks like this uh short it's a red and white this one is certified okay but it looks like this there's a barcode self-adhesive barcoded sequence number there's a number and it start with r but red and white it's not this not this one it's a red and white the um, the number of the la the label is 200 i don't have the la the label the form they call it the form so registered mail label the form number is 200 so it's a red and white form number 200 it's a self-adhesive barcoded label it looks like this it's like already um the clerk will give this um kind of like um, form when during the acceptance it's already self adhesive barcoded label with sequential serial number on it like that stick like that but the clerk has it they are the one to put the the label form but it's similar like this the registered receipt it's a number 3806 the form the clerk will give it to you too to write all the information 3806 the form number the clerk will give you that if you um, ask them for the receipt registered receipt form put all the information completely and correctly due to the declaration of the value okay okay registered mail can be applied domestic and international but each service have almost the same processing but he has different a little bit different um uh price range registered mail is signature required keep in mind so the registered mail it has to have um signature required post office would not deliver unless you have to sign the recipients have to show the identification of proof that uh, it's a mass it has to be proof of mailing and the signature um, has to match for the identification registered mail this service is the most secure way to send a valuable item such as jewelry bonds voyage 
very expensive items like jewelry, diamonds, and credential documents. Like very, very expensive stuff. That's a registered uh, mail design for. This service is restricted to recipient's name. Recipients has to present, recipients has to show or present identification proof of signature for delivery. And also, the items are separate from regular mail or ordinary mailing. It has to have a special handling service. This is the the registered mails is totally different from regular mailing service. A delivery days and date. So the delivery days and date, no certain dates, no overnight and no guarantee or no expected, but more than two, three weeks are estimated days of delivery. If regular mailing service, so it depends on the country destination, what does that mean? It goes to the major city first and then the local post office will will start distributed to um, to the province or the small uh, town. So that's how it works for international. So international is totally different because it takes a long time because it has to be cleared and custom. Online processing. Registered mail may not process through online. It has to bring at the retail window to to subject for inspection. You cannot process this online. It has to have that form of the label form of regist registered mail, the label 200. Uh, they did not put that in the public. Uh, the clerk has it, okay? This service is the distance in the weight and shape. It means the price will depend on where it's going. It depends on the country where it's going. This one uh, is not flat rate. You reuse the box at home or you buy this at the the store like Walmart Target or something like that for this for the price of this is a distance and a weight and a shape it has to be weighed in the post office scale and then that's a different um, price and this one is a different price I will explain it each each items and also for priority mailing too and also priority flat rate Okay. Registered mail can be uh, sent using first class and priority. Ground or standard cannot, cannot ship using um, registered mailing. Only first class mailing service and also priority mail. And on top of that, of course, the, pri uh, the priority mail express cannot because priority mail express is totally different. It has everything, but it's expensive. This one for registered mail, it's a little bit cheaper but it's a secured way the same the same with uh, express but this one is totally different um, features the first class package and envelope for international this one how heavy it is if light you can send it you can send it a first class package like this one to the large envelope so the weight the weight limit from one ounce to 70 pounds, but not exceed. You cannot send more than 70 pounds. It's only allowed from one ounce to 70 pounds. So the dimension, of course, they have to, to uh, measure the dimension of this, okay? If you use this, the box. The envelope, if light, I don't think it's needed uh, dimension to measure. This service can be mailed either first class priority not the ground or standard mailing except except for priority mail express this service cannot be combined with registered mail the priority mail express cannot cannot combine for registered mail either domestic or international because priority mail express has everything on it but more expensive and faster as well but i have a video on those service you can go ahead and double check on priority mail express domestic or international so go ahead and double check on that one too custom forms custom forms if you use this envelope paper inside no hard object it's flexible you can send this non-negotiable documents, no monetary value, and you don't have to fill out the custom forms. 
but it's not trackable you don't have any tracking it's just a, it's just a first class large envelope mailing for international i have a video on that one too you can go ahead and check for the price so it's totally different envelope if you send an envelope with documents only no hard object on inside like i said no hard object inside it's just a paper flexible it can process non-negotiable documents only with large envelope the price charge no custom forms needed without monetary value declaration for first class large envelope service however if you want to send a priority service like this kind of form you want to send a uh, priority service of course you have to fill out the custom form some reason the, the priority mail service for international they even though it's flat and papers inside they need to fill out a custom form i have a video on that one too you need to uh, apply for monetary value declaration on the custom forms this box if you send a box with hard object inside, of course, it has to process a package or parcel with monetary value declaration, even though it's so light. And then, of course, this is automatic for package or parcel um, mailing service. It has to have fill out the custom form. This is the custom form I'm talking about, the 2976R. So you have to fill out this form and then it has to fill out this information from you and where it's going the country and like I said the monetary value and then the description here and don't forget to sign okay and then check mark this little little cubes here which one of which international is completely different and expensive than domestic service keep in mind always keep in mind it's totally different packaging type be careful about you reuse the box at home such as amazon box or fedex or household box it may have previous la label hazardous materials on it you you have to uh tot completely obliterating it or take it out remove the the previous lab label it will count regardless of what inside of the content of the box so no alcohol and no um a bleach uh, reuse box on it it's just a uh, postal administration is very extremely strict about mailing hazardous materials if you're using your own box or envelopes such as amazon fedex or you purchase at the store the box the service will be charged for distance in a weight in a shape whereas if you're using the priority mail like this because this box they have to scan this and in this box it's read uh this barcode is read for subject to price so if you're using the flat rate box there is a flat rate price for international but it's always start for this box it start for 67 dollars it's just a start it's not it's not flat rate price but you can use the flat rate box but it gives you the start for the price for 67 or 64 dollars so this is uh the barcode it's read for the subject for price it doesn't need the dimension of the box the same with this one too the mailing the mailing service it is the barcode this is designed for subject for pricing once they scan this uh, barcode but keep in mind you are sending this priority mail um, service using the priority mail you have you still use this a uh, brown envelope to cover all this seam the same what i did with the brown okay it has to have like this if you are using the priority uh, postal uh, boxes or envelope it has to have um, the same process as well to cover all the seam for this brown envelope okay to prevent for tampering all right so post office administration is extremely strict about mailing hazardous materials if you're using your own box or envelope such as amazon fedex or you purchase the box at store the service will be charged for distance 
weight and the shape of the box like this one if you are not using the priority mail boxes or the envelope if you are using the priority mail flat rate box or mailing or envelope there are price differential rate as well but the priority it will gives you uh, the start amount the start for the the fee uh, will be like 67 or 60, 64 or 67 acceptance acceptance for mailing the service during acceptance postal clerk must check the items postal clerk has to double check the box on the items around the box um, if it is sealed the sealed or the seam covered with a brown tape properly around on the box and then the clerk will uh, subject for inspection and the clerk will round the seam around okay like that all the seam has to be um, has to be round dated with the postmark or some kind like our red eye on it okay all of this little seam he has to have okay to prevent for tampering and also for the brown envelope brown envelope has to be round dated on its seams like that red eye on it same with this one too all around on these for customer convenient postal clerk is not supposed to help you to seal the seam uh, it is really not permitted to assess the customer and preparing or sealing the package or the box postal clerk cannot help you but it depends to the office some post office are are allowed to do that but it's it is really in the in the post office policy that cannot help the customer the clerk will give you the materials you needed a uh, brown tape and also the scissors the, the things that you need they will provide you for that but postal clerk should not help to do to prepare or sealing or sealed your items but like i said some post office some clerk they will help you if you're not sure how to do it you can ask them to do it but i'm really sure we cannot are not permitted to um, help you to prepare okay because they will get in trouble for that but like like i said if you're really not sure uh, you might need assistant for that before you go to the post office everything should have like this address it from you where it's going and also the seam has a tape on it already but if you don't have those um that tape if you don't have that tape you can ask for the post office to to give you some some package package must have sturdy or durable strength to hold the contents inside of the box if it is really heavy inside the content you have to put the tape before on the brown envelope first you know you have to seal it proper it goes to the long long ways uh, country package must meet all specified standard requirements in order to accept for mailing so always always like that so the box or envelope needs to be sealed and also with um with a uh, meet all the specified standard requirements in order to accept for mailing Customer should be securely sealed the package or box before subject for pricing needs to have already this brown tape he has to have sealed and ready for process for mailing postal employee is not permitted to assist the customer in preparing or selling the package or the box or envelope from the point of acceptance postal clerk must properly check the items and subject for processing next steps clerk will properly apply round dated you know like i said the round dated postmark red eye on it all of these around here all of this the one you put a seam you cover the seam on it so like that postmark round dated on around 
they call it postmark rounded red eye packaging type part two i know some of you would ask why it needs to seal the seam line or postmarking around the the seam line because it it is protecting both sender and receiver for preventing preventing for tampering okay in preparing registered mail items must have a specific requirements due to protect the most valuable items post office have a strong mission of providing trusted affordable service and universal service in this service specific requirements for preparing registered mail items are in place to prevent tampering withdrawal or recall remember if the processing is done and ready for outgoing mail it is non-refundable service it means you cannot receive refund once the process is done is done you can have your item back i am not sure if you get your refund but it say according to the policy when when withdrawing or recalling customers you are the sender and you change your mind for last minute that you are not doing uh, registered mail, I don't think they give you the refund for postage or fee service. Postal policy. Insurance. This service, the items value at the minimum of one cent and up to a maximum insured value of 25,000. It means that the insurance is included on the registered mail fee and limited to the declared value of the items. It depends on how much the value of the items, but you can insure it up to 25000 It depends on the value of the items. Okay, let's say the jewelry or bonds. This service is offered for very high value, so it's are very expensive items, so you can insure it up to 25000 may extra service for this service may offered or combined with cod collect on delivery usb tracking signature confirmation return receipt and lastly restricted delivery so restricted delivery recipients receiver has to show the identification and it has to be match the identification and also the signature pricing the price is start for $18 if not combined on any other services just for registered mail alone it, I believe is $18 so the item is charged applicable for first class mail or priority mail price plus the additional fees for registry and extra service it add-ons okay just for registered mail mail fee it's $18 and if you want to mail it priority or first class of course uh, service fee for that too it's cheaper though um, this is cheaper and it's a secured way to uh, send expensive valuable stuff for international overview and summary for this service registered mail service this service is the most secured service offered by postal service it is designed to keep the items secured and safe particularly the most valuable and expensive items such as jewelry bonds credential documents voyage uh, it comes with return receipt so you have to have those okay this service from the time of acceptance to the time of delivery it has to be trackable and it has to um, be in a secure safe it has a special handling delivery and keep separate from the ordinary mail and this service is a signature required recipient has to have a valid identification in order to obtain for signature uh, confirmation this is the most secure service that post office offered i hope this video is more helpful to you and it gives you an idea of how to prepare and mail registered mail please and please don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel and also please check the link below and i will talk to you for my next video and I, I am very appreciated your time and genuine comments. You all are welcome to ask me a question about post office mailing service. And I will try to respond you as soon as possible. And 
थैंक यू सो मच एंड गॉड ब्लेस बाय थैंक्स बाय